An update to a Labor Day standoff with police on the south side. We now know that these four teens were arrested, accused of breaking into a St. John's County Sheriff's Office patrol car and stealing an AR-15. We are not naming the suspects or showing their full mug shots because of their ages. Action News Jack's Robert Grant joins us live from that neighborhood. And Robert, you requested that police report 10 days ago. And Tanika, here is 100 pages nearly long. The house here behind me is the one that police surrounded on Labor Day, trying to get those suspects out. A neighbor shared this picture with Action News Jax. You can see guns drawn. We now know these four teens were inside. Their ages range from 14 to 16 years old. Police say they're tied to nine different car burglaries, including a St. John's Sheriff's Office patrol car. According to the report, they smashed the window and stole an AR-15, a thousand rounds of ammo, tactical gear and a radio. Police also pinged a stolen iPad to this neighborhood along Sandusky Avenue. Neighbors described the scene on Labor Day. I was actually at work. My wife called me and said that, you know, there was heavy police presence and stuff like that. And she she actually sent me a picture where they all had guns drawn. They were on the loudspeaker telling them to come out with their hands up. The teens are also accused of stealing credit cards, cash, and other smaller items. They now face charges of burglary, possession of a weapon by a delinquent, and trespassing. I've also reached out to the St. John's County Sheriff's Office to see how they were able to get these guns and the precautions they have in place to protect that ammo. I'll have the latest coming up tonight on Action News Jax, but important to note for you all, the ammo and the gun were recovered. I'm also talking to several neighbors around here who say crime has been on the rise. We'll have all that for you tonight. Reporting live on the South Side, Robert Grant, CBS 47, Fox 30, Action News Jax.